Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be continuing our series on the on SAP sales and distribution model. And today our focus is to give you a general overview of what the model deals with. Throughout this video, I'll be using the SAP sales and distribution model and SAP SD interchangeably. So just know that I'm talking about the same thing. Our agenda for today is to give you an overview of SAP SD, some of the benefits, some applicable sectors, and then who needs SAP sales and distribution model. The SAP SD model is a part of the SAP logistics model, and it handles all activities relating to the selling, shipping, transportation of products, and billing of customers in an organization. It handles customer relationships spanning from the creation of quotations, sales orders, contracts, outbound deliveries, and billing documents. The SAP SD model integrates with other models such as FI, which represents financial accounting, MM, which represents materials management, CO, which represents controlling, PS, which represents project systems, and PP, which represents production planning, just to mention a few. In the SAP, mod, SAP SD model, we deal with the order to cash process. And the process begins with the pre sales phase, which recalls prospective customers' initial expression of interest. Moving on to the sales order processing phase, which captures the actual demand of the customer. Then we have the shipping and transportation phase, which deals with the transition of ownership from the buying company to the customer. As in to from us to the customer. And then we move on to the billing stage where we bill the customer for the goods that have been delivered. And then the customer piece is based on that billing document. During the order to cash process, all the documents that can be created include the following. So at the pre-sales phase, we can create the sales contract, inquiry, quotation, and, and scheduling agreements. At the order processing phase, we can create the sales order. At the order fulfillment or shipping and transportation phase, we create the delivery document with other documents such as transfer or the speaking requests, and then subsequently do a goods issue. And then at the billing stage, we create our sales invoice based on which the customer pieces. So these documents are just a few documents that can be created in the SAP SD model, but they do not represent all the documents. So these are just a few documents that can be created at each stage of the order to cash process. Some of the benefits of SAP SD model include the following. First of all, we have real-time information. And that deals with the fact that there's no lag in the time that sales information is entered in a sales document and the time that the manager can see it on his on his sales reports. There's no lag, lag between the various times. The next benefit is that the SAP SD model integrates with other models and with other solutions. This is to say that even, even if you have a third party solution that handles a component of your selling activity, the SAP SD model can fully integrate with that solution in addition to it integrating with other models of SAP. There is also automated controls and authorizations. This is to say that each user has or can be restricted on his or her activities in the system. And this will enhance, um, this will control the kinds of activities that each user is permitted to undertake in the system. There is also easy tracking of those transactions. This is to say that at each level or at each stage of the sales process, you can easily track where your sales document has reached at any point in time. So you can easily track at any point in time where your sales document has reached with regards to the sales process. Then there's also access to standard and customized reports. This is to say that there are standard reports already in the system that you can have access to when you are using the SAP SD model. And also there can be customized reports that can be developed for your specific use also. 
The SAP SD model also improves auditing through the document flow function. The document flow function displays the trail of all documents in relation to a sales activity or a sales transaction. So with the document flow function, it's easy to audit all the documents in the flow of that sales transaction. Moving on to the applicable sectors, the SAP SD model can be used by any sector, industry, or firm that is involved in any form of selling. And this spans across the distribution and delivery of products and the provision of services. So if you're a company and you engage in any form of selling, you can actually use the SAP sales and distribution model. Coming back to coming to the last item for the day who needs sap sd does your company engage in sales activities if yes you can use the sap sd model do your sales activities require inputs or data from other solutions do you report on sales revenue and how is it how easy is it to pull these reports if your answers to the above are yes then you need the SAP sales and distribution model. Are sales documents processed using a system or a solution? Does your company use a solution that is integrated? Is it easy to attach supporting documents to a sales transaction? Is it also easy to track the process of sales and distribution activities? If your answers to these questions are no, then you also need the SAP sales and distribution model. Thank you for your time, and I hope to see you in our next session.